Welcome student. Let's start with geometric series. First of all, look at the definition of series. What does series actually mean? A series is represented as a list of numbers with addition operations between them. Let's see an example. Here, 1 plus 2 plus 3 till 100 is a series with a difference of 1 between two successive numbers. A series may be finite or infinite. Now let's see the definition of geometric series. What geometric series really mean? Geometric series is a series with a constant ratio between two successive terms. I repeat constant ratio between two successive terms. For example, we have series 2 plus 4 plus 8 and so on. Which is a geometric series? Because each term is equal to the twice of the previous term. Now see how to find nth term of geometric series or geometric progression. If the initial term of a geometric progression is A and the common ratio of successive members is R, then the nth term of the geometric series is AN equals to A times R raised to power N minus 1, where A is the initial term, R is the common ratio, and N is the nth term. Now see an example. Here, geometric series is 4 plus 16 plus 64 and so on. And we need to find 8th term in a given geometric series. Now as you can see, here initial term A1 equals to 4. And as each term is 4 times the previous term, so that means common ratio R equals to 4. And in question, we are asked to find 8th term. So that means number of terms or n equals to 8. Now simply plug in the values in the formula a n equals to a1 times r raised to power n minus 1, where a1 is the initial term, r is the common ratio, and n is the nth term. On plugging in the values, you will get 8th term as 65,536. Now see how to find some of finite geometric series. By finite, I mean there are fixed number of terms in a given series. To find some of finite geometric series, all you need is three things. The first term, how many terms you need to add and the common ratio. And the formula to find some of finite geometric series is Sn equals to T1 times 1 minus R raised to power N whole divided by 1 minus R where R is the common ratio and T1 is the first term. Now see an example. Here the series is 4, 8, 16, 32 and so on. And you need to find some of first 10 terms in it. Let's see how to solve this. Here first term or you can say initial term T1 equals to 4. And as each term is 2 times the previous term so that means common ratio R equals to 2. Now simply use the formula Sn equals to T1 times 1 minus R raised to power N whole divided by 1 minus R, where N is the nth term. So on plugging in the values, you will get S10 equals to 4 times 1023, 
which will be equals to 4092. So that means sum of first 10 terms in a given series is 4092. Now see one more example. Here geometric series is 2 plus 6 plus 18 and so on. And you need to find sum of first 6 terms in it. Now as you can see here very first term or the initial term T1 equals to 2. And as each term is 3 times the previous term so that means common ratio R equals to 3 and N equals to 6 because we need to find sum of first 6 terms in it. Now simply use the formula Sn equals to T1 times R raised to power N minus 1 whole divided by R minus 1. Now on plugging in the values you will get sum of first 6 terms as 728. This brings us to the end of the session. Hope you have enjoyed the session. Thank you and goodbye.